so you can play. Mini War Gaming, the world engine. Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com, and this is the final story time for the World Engine 40k narrative campaign. Yes, I know this is late, and I do apologize for that. And of course, if you haven't watched the last two missions, Mission 4A and 4B of the World Engine 40k narrative campaign, make sure you can go do that right now, because it was actually a very exciting conclusion. The games were very, very close, so I don't want to have any spoilers, unless you want to have the spoilers, so make sure you go and watch it. So, what happened? Well, as we know from the last story time, uh, the Space Marines weren't doing so well, kind of got some of their key characters sold off to Trazine the Infinite, and in a last-ditch effort to try to stop this world engine from wreaking havoc all over this sector, uh, the, uh, the, the Chief Librarian Matthias ordered the cruiser to have a suicide course and then detonate its warp drive so that it could uh, seriously cripple the world engine. But Kanum would have none of that, so as he's trying to shoot it down, he also sent boarding crews to be able to get in there and just stop it from happening. And we had two very close fights that ensued. And we actually had the two, we had two separate battle reports, and when you added up the victory points between the two, that determined whether or not the Necrons were able to stop this cruiser from landing and detonating. And it came down and was incredibly tense but the Necrons failed to stop it. So the cruiser was able to get through, and it landed and smashed into the world engine, and the warp drive detonated. Now, of course, one single cruiser going in there and detonating its warp drive is not gonna blow up the entire planet Death Star style from Star Wars, just in the night, a nice, neat explosion, getting rid of it all. But uh, along with the, the power issues that they were having and the, the disrepair that the world engine already was in, the explosion of this cruiser on the world engine did cause enough damage to seriously cripple the world engine. And so in that sense, the Space Marines were able to stop the world engine, but at the same time, it's not a permanent stop. The Necrons are already busy at Kanum's, uh, Kanum's command repairing the damage that has been done but his campaign to use it to eradicate High Fleet Charon and then become the supreme awesome uh, Pharon of who knows how much of the Necron dynasty have been put on hold for a little while. So do not fret if you were rooting for the Necrons because of how much they were beating the Space Marines because we will still see the world engine possibly in future campaigns as well once Kanum is able to get it back together, if he's able to get it back together without interference from other races, Xenos or Imperium alike. So that is the end of this campaign. So Kanum is busy trying to fix the world engine and all the other issues he was having with it. The Space Marines, the mini Wargaming Space Marine chapter is having, is having problems. They suffered tremendous losses. The, any of the remnants of the Space Marines that were still alive were yanked back into the warp onto their planet except for those characters who were sold to Trazine, who had the, the means to put them in a stasis sort so that they wouldn't be able to be ripped back when they wanted to be, actually wanting to go back into the warp at this point so that they could get away from him. But they are in a nice tidy collection now inside of Trazine's home world. So maybe we'll see that in the future campaign as well. Thank, thank you so much for watching the World Engine campaign and stay tuned for more 40k narrative campaigns. In fact, next week we're going to be starting a new one featuring Sisters of Battle and Gene Stealer Cult, which will be a whole lot of fun because uh, we've already recorded about half of it and it's been tremendous and I've been having a lot of fun and our, the person who's brought in the Sisters of Battle has been great with it. So that is going to be starting next Thursday. So stay tuned and happy Wargaming. Many Wargaming's the world engine.